Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another World to Live Online video. This is going to be money making part two. I hope you enjoy this video guys. The timestamps in the description below. So let's get on with the video. Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to part two of the money makers. For this one, there's only going to be too many money makers because these are only the really good ones this is going to be for level 20 plus players so you're going to want the absolute minimum of a reinforced cheating jacket this is all you need your reinforced jacket and then the absolute best gun you can get so for the first one i'm going to be doing the bears i already have a full guide on this there'll be a link in the description if you want to go check that out i'm just going to give you a small rundown on this then the next one is going to be the sand spiders Obviously, 99% of players already know that Sand Spiders is the best money in the best money maker in the game. But I'm gonna do a in-depth run on like what I think is the best loadouts and stuff like that, like what I take anyway. I've got enough wood now. So, yeah, right onto the bears. I'm gonna run up. Why I'm running up, I'm gonna explain everything to you. So you could, like I said, you're gonna want at least 10 wood. Oh, um, well, a fireplace and five wood at the absolute minimum. Um, you're also gonna want the cooking recipes for the bears where is it where is it where is it like fried bear meat and stuff like that you can get that by going into the swamp and going down to e5 slash 4 to leshy he will sell you the references that you need as soon as you've got that you've got your wood you've got your chitin armor you're a plus level 20. i do also i do advise bringing a sl free plate in your armor because these hurt like <clears throat> the bears really hurt so the fireplace we're going to be using that for cooking and for survivability to be fair but yeah all you're going to do is you're going to come up to b1 slash 5 they come out of this cave at b5 slash 4 as you can see one there level 1 so let's see how we do with this we're just going to pop 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 want to do as much damage as we can while he's running towards us Level 1's are kind of easy. There we go. Easy peasy. So, all I was going to do now, pop the fire down. Oh. There we go. We got his fireplace down. Jump into the bear. Take everything. Into the campfire. So, spoil stuff. We don't want that. Get rid of spoil stuff. It's really heavy. There we go, put the meat in, let that cook. Bear skin, that's really heavy for how much it's worth. The problem is with the bear stuff, like the bear skin and the bear heads are super heavy, but you're mainly after the hearts. Like one, you can make a little bit of money after this. It's not the best money, ma money maker in the game, but if you don't have a canyon base for doing the spiders, then this is like the best thing to do. But obviously spiders absolutely destroy the bears, like the absolute best money maker in the game. But if you have nothing else to do, then do the bears. But yeah, there's not really much else I can tell you on this. You just want to take everything off, drop the spoiled stuff, cook your food, it'll make it worth a little bit more, it'll make it a little bit lighter so you can break, take more with you. You don't really need anything apart from some med kits and ammo. Obviously, I wouldn't bring a second gun. Like, I've got all these little bits on me. Usually I wouldn't say bring this, I'd say bring like 10 med kits and then like a thousand bullets or whatever. Because when you get the level fours and fives, or even the freeze, you're going to take some damage. With the level 1s and 2s, you can usually kill before they even touch you. But yeah, that's the bears anyway. Like I said, there'll be a link in the description for the, to the full guide on this. I honestly highly recommend go and watch that if you want to go do the bears. But yeah, let's get on to number 2. Alright, here we are for part 2. We're going to be doing the sun spiders. This is without a doubt the best money, in the ma money maker in the game. There's nothing you can farm that's better than this. So... For me, personally, it's going to vary on every single person on your level, the weapons you're taking, the class you are. But for me, personally, as a level 25 Merc, I'm taking the M40, M16. I know the AK is better for farming, but I'm leveling it up right now. I take around 800 to 900 rounds, HP rounds. I take 16 med kits, 20 bandages. Always take bandages. Like Bandages are going to save you so much money in the long run. And then take six large antidotes. You're gonna need large antidotes. They're gonna help you out. Though. Like you, you, you're gonna mess up a lot without them. Um, 
for this you are going to be the absolute minimum of level 20 but i recommend being level 20 for the both of these anyway again chitin armor at the absolute minimum and then you the thing is with this your faction that you've joined is going to need a base as you can see right now my team holds the north and uh, the black sunset holds the south you can get everything that you need from the store here like literally everything the only thing you can't buy from here is food but everything that we need for this farm run is right here so i'm going to run over to a couple of spiders now and show you just basically how to do it properly like how to do it efficiently why you want to be taking bandages like bandages are a must-have honestly because if you get hit like spiders do a lot of bleed damage like they make you bleed a lot if i go up against a level 10 this is my first spider i'm not going to want to use a large med kit because i know it's only going to do like maybe 60 70 damage so i'd rather choose a bandage and get rid of the bleeding so then i've saved 30, 43 tokens by using a bandage rather than a large med kit. Do you see what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Take bandages. And in some situations, they've actually saved me. I'll explain more on that in a minute. So we're going to pop the large antidote. So now I'm going to pop a med kit because I actually need a med kit. But with that first one, I didn't. I think someone's farming here. He might be leaving. But yeah, so what I was going to say to you is why a bandage has, sa has saved me in the past. Is I've actually had it once where I got jumped by a few of these at the same time and I weren't expecting it. I was down to like a quarter health. I had um, the point they were poisoning me. I was bleeding. And I was getting beat down by them. So I popped a poison. Um, obviously an anti-poison or whatever it is. An antidote. This one right here. Large antidote. I popped that to get rid of uh, the poison that was on me. And then I used a... I think the bleed damage was on like 10 seconds. And these only get rid of... I think it's like 4 or 5 seconds worth of bleed. So I used a bandage. Because the timer on that is only like 4 to 5 seconds. And then as I was about to die, I hit the large med kit and I survived the whole thing. Easy peasy. Right, I've got two on me now, so this is where you'd use a, med you'd use a large med kit. Alright, I need to use a large antidote. You always want to keep your large antidote up. So it's never going to zero and you're never taking the poison damage because you can stack these. You can use two at once. I'm going to do that right now. Large med kit here. And that's it. That's all you do. Easy peasy. Easy money. 1.3k there. 1.6k there. 500 there. You know... Stuff that you need, non furious metal and uh, lead for crafting ammo, so you can and your sulfur, so you get a lot of stuff for crafting your ammunition here. Um, another 730 there, you can get some of the drops, the glands, I think, are worth like two and a half or three and a half K, I can't remember off the top of my head. But that's it, that's all it is for Sand Spiders. I'm going to show you what locations that I know now on map. So we've got the top right hand corner, F1 slash 9. There's like three that spawn here and a load that spawn down on four as well. But there's a level 7 matador there. And unless you're a like level 35 plus minor, you're not going to be able to fight that on your own. But you can shoot at the spiders to pull them up if they're not too close to the matador. You've got two over here on F2 slash 9. Um, we have, I think it's two or three over here on C2 slash 6, C2 slash 9. Like they spawn around this area. You got, I've seen some little ones here that I've never, I've only ever seen them once. I don't know if they're a new thing or not, but B2 slash 1, I found some little sun spiders, which still give you decent loot, and they die in so easy, like, so easy. Um, then there's two in A2, is it A2? Yeah, A2 slash 5, there's two that spawn here. We've got two that spawn on B4 slash 2 right here. C4 slash 3. Now, this is a weird one. There's a lot that spawn here. I think it's like 5 in total. But they spawn over C4 slash 2, 3, 
and d4 one they spawn all around here it's a kind of a weird place but yeah there's a lot there um and then the last spot i know this this is actually my if i own the south base this is where i farm like this is the best spot ever f6 slash three because there's two spiders here so you don't get overwhelmed it's super easy to take on two you've got the fire station which spawns med kits anti-rads food is like um wire and um also wire cutters on the long nose players and stuff like that like honestly that spot is so good but yeah that's all the sand spider spots that i know like i said same as the uh bear i said at the start of the video it's the same for both of them you want the chitin armor the best weapon you can get and then it's just sorting out your loadout so you know what to do because obviously when you're coming back after you've done a farm run you don't want to take too long you want to be in you want to be out you want to be back to farming so for me personally this is what i do i'm straight in i can see on my hot bar what i need what i don't need so drag this off repair item bop bop do this every single time and then your stuff's always going to be good sell that 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 and that i want to keep all the rest straight to the bank boom 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 all that in to this guy now i'm also crafting stuff like ammunition and stuff like that get everything that you need get it all topped back up 16 6 get me bandage back you don't need to buy the bandages all the time so you don't use as many but uh, if you do use them you know it's nice to top them up just depending on how many you use put that back on put this back on because i'm crafting ammunition back into here we're going to take 35 of this out so this will make it so you can keep your ammo up all the time 10 of them and then as i'm leaving i'll run to the furnace and i'll make the metal so then when i'm back the metal's done i sit i ain't gonna sit there waiting and i do this after every single run do the exact same thing stock put stock up on everything um get your stuff repaired get around the same type of build i use 15 16 med kits six large antidotes 20 bandages 800 to 900 rounds and then yeah that's it that's how i do the spiders that's how i do the bears i hope you like this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if it did help you in any way make sure to give it a like if you've got any comments, you know, make sure to chuck them down below. Um, anything that you think I could do in the future, type of videos, anything you think I could improve on or anything like that. Um, if you're new to the channel and you like Will to Live, make sure to subscribe because obviously I do videos on this game a lot. So if you want to see more videos on this game, make sure to hit that sub button and I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Thank you for coming. Peace out.